This video was not in my plans, but it was a request from a very kind viewer and I promised him to make it happen. We will log in using Google. Social authentication is a bit more complex to test and you will encounter a lot of similar cases in the future. You don't always know what to expect or how to test a feature, especially when you're using external dependencies like in this case, Socialite and Google. Whenever you are in that position, then you can write the concrete code first and then write the tests. Is this TDD? According to its definition, it is not. However, this will not stop us from writing tests. We are just not aware of what to expect and in this case it is impossible to use TDD 100%. Up to now we were able to follow TDD because it was our code, our business logic. In this case, we are working with Socialite, which has nothing to do with us, and with Google. Again, another dependency that we don't know how it works, how it behaves, or maybe we know how it works, but what if it has changed? I don't like a lot of dependencies in my applications because you might get unexpected outcomes once in a while, in case that dependency changes its policies or the way it works. I have seen a lot of websites when they use authentication with Facebook and Google and then you press the button and nothing happens, there is an error or something. That is why on develop I only have email and password authentication, there is no social authentication there. Because I don't want to have a lot of dependencies, I don't like my project to depend on other companies that they might change their policies once in a while. Anyways, Laravel has an official package called Socialite, used for Auth1 and Auth2. So I will open my console and the command is composer require Laravel Socialite. This will install Socialite and we can continue from there. In the meantime, we can go on console.developers.google.com and we will create a new app. So just name your app, I will name it Laravel API. Give it a second and then you can go to credentials. Okay, we can create new credentials, auth client ID. This is a web application. You can give it a name, I will name this Laravel API client. And uh, down here, let me zoom in a bit, authorized redirect URIs, the URI is this one. So http localhost slash social slash auth slash google slash callback. It might be different in your case if you use something else, but uh, or if you are actually live, of course this is going to be your domain name and maybe most probably you are using HTTPS, so it always depends, but because we are under development, this is the URL. Click create. Okay, so now you are getting the client ID and the client secret. I will copy the ID and as you can see Socialite was successfully installed. You have to open services.php Scroll down, I will include Google to this array, so we have the client ID, okay, we have the client secret that we are going to copy right now, and redirect. Alright, so the secret is this one. Alright, and the redirect, well, if we go back to this client, Laravel API client, you can see that this is our redirect. Now it looks like we have to set up this route together with another one, which is the redirect. So this is the callback route and we need another one for redirect. Okay, so openweb.php route get social of and then we have the provider 
and the other one is social of provider and callback okay so we are following this URI and Google is the provider of course you can also add Facebook this is why uh, this is like this is a parameter the controller we are going to use the auth controller at redirect and for this one auth controller at callback okay so as you can see I'm using auth controller and I'm storing the keys inside services in order to make this process easier but I suggest to create a social auth controller to handle social authentication and store keys inside your .env file. We will do that in this course, but uh, towards the end of it, when we discuss about refactoring. Okay, we have a redirect and callback. Now let's create the actions. So auth controller. So we have redirect. And this expects the provider. And then we have also the callback. Again, we expect a provider. Redirect is very simple. We just have to redirect to the provider. So return socialite driver and we pass the provider. So if the provider is Google, it will redirect to Google. Redirect is just an anchor tag. It is just a redirection, as we will see in a moment. Then, after the user goes on Google and accepts the app, then Google will redirect to this callback with some information regarding the user. So, we have the user now. Socialite. Driver. Again. Provider. And we expect a user back. Let me also include the class. Import it. OK. This is the logic. Redirect will send us to the correct provider. Google, Facebook, Twitter, whatever the provider is. And callback redirects back to our application together with the user data. So this user, this user variable, We'll have the email, the name, uh, an ID, and also the token, so stuff like that. Let's log that information. Log info user user. And as I said, we are going to get back a token. To try this, I will do it a bit differently. This is an API, however, users, in order to log in with Facebook, they have to click a button or a link. So, open welcome.blade.php. Scroll down a bit, and we can have the link here, doesn't really matter. So, this is an anchor tag, as I said. And we can say, login with Google. So, the URL is social of Google. As you can see, the URI here is the URI that we have for the redirect. Social, auth, and then the provider. In this case, Google. Imagine that this is a React component or a Vue.js component. It is, a, it is in a different project. It has nothing to do with the API. OK, I will give this a try. I will open localhost and I will click on login with Google. As you can see, we are redirected to this uh, Google screen when we, where we choose the Google account. So I will choose this one. OK, and now we are redirected to social auth Google callback. And if I open the log file, you can see that we have a user, 
you can see that we have a token and also the token is logged down here and then we have a refresh token expire scene what else do we have we have the name so this is the name for the account we have the email for the account we also have the avatar mm -hmm. okay the idea is that you can use the data you get from google or whatever provider you choose in order to create a new user or to use that data in whatever way you want if I go back to this, if I go back to, to this screen and I click login with Google, you will see that we do not have to choose the account anymore because Google already recognizes this user. So we are automatically authenticated. And as you can see, we get a token back. And the token is different because whenever you click on that uh, anchor tag, you get a different token. If you are using a React or a similar front-end library, then you can store this token to your local storage or you can store it in a cookie in order to make uh, future requests to this API. So how can you do that? Well, you can redirect to your application. So return redirect away. So let's say that uh, the front-end application is hosted in localhost 8000. I can pass the token, user token. And I need double quotes for this. Okay, so as you can see, after the user logs in with a provider, then we redirect back to the application, to the front-end application, and we attach the token in the javascript application then we can save this token as i said in local storage or in a cookie in order to make requests to the api it is the same cookie that you get when you log in using an email and a password however in this case of course we are using social authentication towards the end of this course we will use react to consume this api and test email password authentication and Google authentication and everything else we built in this course. For now, let's write the test. So I will close my tabs and I will open auth controller test. Okay, I will create a new test. Public function can can authenticate using Google okay so inside auth controller we redirect so the status code for a redirect is 302 so what we can do is to say this get social auth Google callback and then assert status 302 so if I try this, let me close this tab. So filter can authenticate using Google. If I try this, you will see that it fails. And the reason it fails, if I open storage, and this is the error. So the reason it fails is because we have to mock Socialite to make this pass. This is why I said it is a bit more complex to test external dependencies. And in this case, this is an external dependency. We are depending on Google and Socialite. So let me mock this and you will see that we will make this pass. First of all, I will have an abstract user and we will mock Laravel Socialite to user so we mock that and um, we should receive a get ID and return random so random is is like a random ID that that we get back and we should also receive get email because remember we also 
uh, can get the email for the user and return John Doe at acme.com should receive get name because remember if I go back we also have a name where is it here it is we also have a name so and return John Doe what else should receive get avatar and return https en gravatar.com user image okay now let's start the provider so mockery and this this should also be mockery okay now we mock the provider the provider is laravel socialite contracts provider so the provider should receive a user back and return this the abstract user so we just mock it so this is not the actual data this is like fake data this is how we we expect it to, to come back right so this is not real and then socialite should receive driver and return the provider okay so this looks good of course we have to import mockery and socialite okay I will clear the console the terminal and run the tests again the test I guess and now it passes so if I run all the tests let's take a look do they pass yes they do